Okay guys, sorry about the sound, but if you can save this video or share it really quickly before Facebook or YouTube deletes it, everyone around the world needs to see this video. What purpose does the gentleman from Maryland rise? Uh, Mr. Speaker, pursuant to Clause 4 of Rule 22, I move that the House take from the Speaker's table the Senate Amendment to the House Joint Resolution 59, proceed from its amendment, and concur in the Senate Amendment to open the government now. Under Section 2 of House Resolution 368, the, that motion may be offered only by the Majority Leader or his designee. Uh, parliamentary inquiry, uh, Mr. Gentlemen Speaker. Gentlemen state parliamentary inquiry. The standing rule of the House is Rule 22, Clause 4. Is that correct? That is correct. And the standing rule of the House reads, Mr. Speaker, when the stage of disagreement has been reached between, reached on a bill or a resolution with House or Senate amendments, a motion to dispose of any amendment shall be privileged. Mr. Speaker, my question is, is this parliamentary status of the bill, does this, does it meet the requirements of 22-4? The House has altered that operation of that standing rule. So I just want to understand, Mr. Speaker, this this standing rule of the House, which I have here, has been altered by the House. Is that what the Speaker is saying? The House adopted a resolution altering. A parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Speaker, when, when was that alteration made? House Resolution 368. House Resolution 368, Mr. Speaker, just parliamentary inquiry. I want to make sure I have the right one. I have in my hand HRES 368, October 1st, resolved, and Section 2 of that says any motion pursuant to Clause 4 of Rule 22 relating to the House joint resolution may be offered only by the majority leader or his designee. Is that what you're referring to, Mr. Speaker? That is the resolution. So, Mr. Speaker, just, just so I understand the situation, parliamentary inquiry, HRES 368 changed the standing rules of the House to take away from any member of the House the privilege of calling up the Senate bill to immediately reopen the government. Is that right? It did change the operation of the standing room. Right. So just parliamentary inquiry, a, a privileged motion, Mr. Speaker, would have allowed any member of this House, Republican or Democrat, to call up the Senate bill to open the government. Is that right? The chair did not give an advisory opinion on that. But, Mr. Speaker, a, a, a privileged rebel resolution, as cited in Rule 22 for the standing rules of the House, would allow any member of the House to offer that resolution. Is that right? The chair will not give an advisory opinion. Well, Mr. Speaker, parliamentary inquiry, I, I, I think you just, as I understood, said that that was changed so that it no longer would be a privileged motion for any member, but it would be exclusively the right of the Republican leader or his designee. Am I right about that? The House will follow House Resolution 368. Right. And just, 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 just again, Mr. Speaker, I want to, I want to be absolutely clear that HRES 368 changed the standing rules of the House so that only the Republican leader is, or his designee could call to open the, the, the gentleman will state his parliamentary inquiry. parliamentary inquiry. Parliamentary inquiry. Is the majority leader or his designee? I would ask my colleagues whether the majority leader or his designee is on the floor of the House today. The gentleman will address the parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Speaker. This rule, the chair has amended the, the my, chair, my, my, my parliamentary inquiry, and this will be my last one. I just want to understand, Mr. Speaker. The Rules Committee, under the rules of the House, changed the standing rules of the House to take away the right of any member to move to vote to open the government and gave that right exclusively to the Republican leader. Is that right? The House adopted that resolution. The resolution. The chair is now prepared to entertain one minute. I, I, I make my motion, Mr. Speaker. I, I renew my motion 
that under the regular standing rules of the House, Clause 4, 4 Rule 22, that the House take up the Senate amendments and open the government down. Under Section 2 of House Resolution 368, that motion may be offered only by the majority leader or his, his designate. Now this, no, the Chair, Mr. Speaker, why, the gentleman, why were the rules the made to keep the, the government shut suspend, down? The gentleman will suspend. Well, Mr. Speaker, House, I think the Chair will now entertain. Democracy has been suspended. The gentleman will suspend.